One of the things that you'll learn probably through the panel is that there are very different types of CTOs. Right now, I, I manage uh, engineers directly and then uh, design team and product team uh, with their own direct reports. It's easy to see how that becomes managers of managers and then managers of managers of managers. And so, you know, in those types of environments, having worked through years and years at BlackBerry, you, you become, again, as the high priest of here's where we're going, here's why we're doing the inspiration as much of, of ensuring that you're still picking the right people and, and watching with EQ of all the dysfunction across your organization because it exists, whether you can see it or otherwise, and then you know, spending a lot of time trying to fix it. My role is like to try to make sure we're using good practices, we are efficient, we have a good career path. If we had thousands of engineers, hundreds of thousands possibly, uh, the change would really be doing the same things from a level above. We have to be very matrix driven and like understand what's happening all the way through, through the organization and uh, dictate what are the objectives from the top to, to see where, where do you want the engineer, how do you want the engineer's team to behave and try to drive that behavior from the top and keep hiring the right, the right people at the top that will drive the right culture and behavior down. I don't try to look on that horizon because it's not helpful for me. It's our whole life has been trying to increase your horizon for sure and I'm not at that scale you know I'm thinking about next year and where we want to go and building our team I'm not saying that's not helpful it's just more of um, I need to think about the things I need to do to now to put me my, get myself on the trajectory to be in that position and um, then I'll solve when I get there so I know it's a bit of a lack of an answer but uh, it's, a, it's a scale I don't e couldn't even imagine us being at right now so I think you know the roles change, uh, and I think we've we've talked about that as the roles change, and and Alan's sort of forcing us to th to think well beyond, let's say, where we we've experienced, and as you know, the roles get bigger, the companies get bigger, the role itself becomes less technical. You lose your Git privileges, like I lost mine. <laughs> um, you know, and it's more about uh, dealing with the product and the being the technical evangelist about what what kind of technologies and what approaches of we should be using to develop the technology and the products to support the business. It becomes more of a business and technology fusion role, um, which becomes an interesting position and much more coupled with product.